Hello, hello everyone! I'm back with another exciting Pokemon card opening. Tonight we're going to open up a couple ETBs. We got a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box and a Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. I also got one of these mystery boxes from my Walmart in town. So we'll open that up and see if we get anything out of that. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, we got Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest was the last main set in the Sword and Shield era. And its main Pokemon, of course, was Vulpix. And, of course, it has the Lugia in it as well. Uh, and then Crown Zenith was the very last set um, in that these, the um, Sword and Shield era. It was kind of a catch-up set for us over here in the West, um, but it came out back in January. So let's get this thing open here. We'll, we'll see what we can get out of this. I've opened a little bit of Crown Zenith, not too much, but let's get this thing open and see what we can pull from it. And of course, there's the booklet and the box you get with it. Get rid of the cardboard. And of course we got, let's see, this is a special set. So this ETB came with, I believe, 10 packs. And it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they, of course, air the sleeves. And this one has the Lucario promo in it. Every single ETB came with that one. And, of course, you got the dividers and the dice. Very cool. But, let's go ahead and get into the actual packs here. Uh, of course, the cards you're looking for in this set um, were the gold cards, the gold legendaries, Arceus, Dialga, Palkia. Uh, you also got Giratina, of course. Those are the big cards. So let's get to opening here. NAIC just finished up a, uh, like a week ago. Surprising results there with the Urshifu and Teleon with the win at the in North American International Championships. Didn't really, I didn't definitely didn't see that coming along as the winner. Uh, Rescue Carrier, Electric, Ding Duo, Meowth, Whelmer, Shinx, Corefish, Ponyard. Well, that's a nice start. The Luminian V Galarian Gallery card, Galarian Gallery 39 of 70. That's very cool. Oh, and a Simi Seer V Star, and that's a very good start to the CTB. Very cool. Let's leave those things up here quick. The way it shines there. The fish. Sleeved and top loaded. We'll actually do the same with the Simis here. Alright, very cool. Great start. Open up this second pack here. I, of course, have been working on trying to play more um, of the online, the Pokemon trading card game live, just because I don't actually have that much experience in live playing. But uh, any experience I can get is good. Love Disc, shut out, a Reverse Ball Toy, and a Luxray. Luxray, the, sh the whole Shinx line, is one of my personal favorites. I don't know, he just, he just is. He's just cool looking. I've been trying to work on getting the Chien Pao Baxcalibur deck to work. Easier said than done. <laughs> it just, the deck really doesn't have a way to respond to disruption. 
that's what I've gathered for the most part for that deck. It is a very powerful deck, sure. But it can just easily be sh easily be shut down with Path of the Peak or um, an Io a well-timed Iono, anything like that. So, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way to, to really get that deck to work. Um, I know there was one in, I, I believe... Top, I believe top 16 at NAIC. And that deck actually used Arceus instead of the... Um, originally, originally people were trying to play it with Palkia V-Star, but this deck actually used Arceus V-Star. So that's interesting. Oh, yes! The Pikachu Art Rare. Look at him! That's awesome. And a Perserker. Don't care about the cat. But we like this Pikachu. It's interesting because in the um, Japanese set, and God, I can't remember what that set was called, um, what the corresponding set that this came out of was in Japan. But this card and the other like art rares that are part of it, it's a big big like nine card set you could only get this in a single pack um, you had to get all you had to get one of the I, I guess god packs really where all nine cards um, that made up that picture that had that Pikachu in it they all came together in one pack this is a very expensive card in Japan at least last I looked I guess I shouldn't necessarily say that I haven't looked in a while <laughs> The English version, the English version isn't that much. Five, six bucks, I don't know, I can't remember. But the Japanese one, like I said, the Japanese version is very valuable. Carnivine, Lost Vacuum, Bidoof, Purloin, Grubbin, a Skrelp. Ooh, there's a Radiant, I like Radiants. Radiant Charger Bug. He's got the Shocking Block ability. Whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon V, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Now, this guy actually hasn't really seen, like, any play. But, you know. Oh, and Regigigas V. Very cool. He hasn't actually seen very much in the way of play, either. Not, not much play for him, either. So. We'll still get him sleeved up, though. And I'll sleeve up the Charger Bug, too, sure. I'll penny sleeve him. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get out of this pack here. All right, let's guess energy. Grass. Oh, boop. Nope, womp womp. Matang, Shaman, Friends in Hasui, Oddish, Seal, Cricketot, Aeron, Riolu, a Reverse Whalmer, and a Heliolisk. Rare. Check out those guys. Oh, there's the grass. Should have just saved my guess until now. Luxio, Trekking Shoes, Shaman, Cricketot, Shinx, Galarian Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Coughing. Oh, hey there. That's pretty cool. Galarian Gallery, Sharon's Care. It's pronounced Sharon's Care, guys. <laughs> Put one of your uh, colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all attached cards into your hand. It's a pretty cool card. Picks up any liabilities you have on the field. Oh, and the hollow um, energy. You can kind of barely see the outline of the metal on the back here. Barely see it. You can kind of see it in the shimmer. 
But those are two cool cards. I've gotten some good hits in this. We'll sleeve up that. We'll sleeve up this card too. Like I said, this card, like I said, this is pronounced Sharon's Care. It took me so long to figure out how to say that name, honestly. <laughs> All right, we'll put that up there. Woo. All right, let's see here. We'll just do fire energy. Ah, oh, lightning. We got a Soul Rock, Lost Vacuum, Luxio, Vesta, Ponyard, Whalmer, a Pokeball, Corfish. Oh, look at that! The Galarian Gallery card version of Magmortar. That is adorable. Look at that. Mag, you got Magmortar over here, and you got Electivire sitting over here. Look at him. Just gathered around the fire. And a Zarud. Like, this card would have been so nice to have with the nice silver borders. The yellow just, the yellow just looks bad with it. It just doesn't look good. Anyways, so glad they got rid of the yellow borders. The art rares that they've been coming out with in the Paldea uh, Evolve set and, you know, uh, Scarlet and Violet Base, they, they just look so awesome. Rare Candy, Molga, Love Disc, Chatot, a Ponyar, a Reverse Luxio, and an Enamorous. All right, last pack from the Crown Zenith ETV. This has been a pretty fun pack here. Pretty fun little, little opening with these cards. Let's see if we can get one more thing out of this. Let's see if we can get one of the big, big cards. Haven't really gotten any big card yet. One, two, three, four. But we've gotten a lot of cool cards. Energy Switch, Crocorock, Lunatone, Tangela, Baltoy, Meowth, Energy Retrieval, a Shinx, a Reverse Snorunt, and a Draggledge. I can't pronounce that at all. Draggledge, I have no idea. I just have no clue. I actually haven't heard that name pronounced, so I actually have no idea how to say that. Okay, I'm just going to pass. Pass. Alright, let's look at this. These are what we got out of the Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. We got the Reggie Gigas, we got the Simi Seer V-Star, and we got a Luminion V and a Sharon's Care. Those are pretty cool cards. Pretty nice. And then we also got the Pikachu Galarian Gallery card. We got a Radiant Charger Bug. We got this special uh, uh, Metal Energy. And we got the Magmortar. So that's pretty cool. Lots of cool little stuff out of that ETB. Let us move on to the uh, Silver Tempest one. All right, now I've got the Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box for us to open into see what we can get out of this. Like I said, this was the last main set. I believe I believe they go by the Sword and Shield. I think this was 12. Sword and Shield 12. Silver Tempest. All right, let's open this one up. It's a good thing I'm opening this one. This one got dinged up a little bit in the mail. Not really worth keeping for the sealed product. There's the booklet, the player's guide. You got your little box and the cardboard. Get out of your cardboard. I don't want you. And then we got. So this was a main set. So there should be only eight packs in this Elite Trainer box. Yep, eight packs there. And we got. Oh, I hadn't seen these actual dice before. These dice are cool. Those are nice. I like those colors for the dice on these. Wow. Well. And of course, you've got. The sleeves with the Alolan Vulpix on him. I I really thought it was kind of interesting that they 
made a lowland vulpix the um like what do you want to say the mascot for this set considering that you know the sword and shield set isn't in alola so the sword and shield set is in galar um and alola is gen 7 so but you know they don't consult me on these things they don't call me up and say hey jeremy tell us what we should do that doesn't happen so i guess we just go with whatever they feel like doing look at him alola and vulpix and there's a Lugia. Lugia is a very popular deck in actual standard play. Still, it's gone down a little bit, but it's still, it's still pretty popular. It's still really powerful, too. That's another big thing. But let's open into these packs. All right, let's see. We got, let's, go, let's go Darkness Energy on this. Oh, never mind. We don't even need to. It's a V-Star Marker. Womp womp. Look at that. No energy to guess. All right, Arkin, Serena, Draclok, Sandio, Murkrow, Baltoy. Oh, cool, a Radiant, Radiant Jirachi. People thought that he might see play, but he really hasn't. Um, his thing was mainly about, he had a couple good things. The Astral Misfortune was kind of cool. Flip two coins, if both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out, just straightforward just done knocked out which is pretty cool um the entrusted wishes is also pretty nice if this pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's pokemon search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hand oh and we got a scum tank so two hits two hits on that first pack that's pretty nice All right, get those out of the way here. Next pack, Reggie Drago V. People were hoping he would be a, his uh, Reggie Drago V star would be a cool Pokemon, but it never really didn't really come about. Two, three, four. Uh, we'll go with uh, Electric Energy for our guess here. Oh, just Psychic, Stonejourner, Ferrothorn, Leafy Camel Poncho, Pikachu, Noibat, oh, Togedemaru. We got a reverse, Target tomorrow, and a Victini, non hollow rare. All right, let's keep going here. Keep on opening, keep on plugging away. Let's guess water. Nope, metal this time. No luck. Nine tails. Played all. Hypno. Spinda. Snorunt. A reverse drowsy. He's so sleepy. Oh, and an earthen seal stone. This is a special Pokemon tool that gives a basic Pokemon V a extra V star power. Um, I'm not. I can't quite remember. The, put damage counters on each of your opponent's Pokemon V until its remaining HP is 100. This card has not seen any play in uh, standard format. We saw Sky Seal Stone get some play some. A while back, um, but that one never really has. Uh, just Forest Seal Stone has been the main one. Three, four, we'll guess Psychic Energy. Oh, just water. Clang, Emergency Jelly. Venonat, Ralts, a uh, Spinda, Miss Drevis. Oh my goodness! This is the, um, what do you want to call it? The special art of Lugia V. Wow. Wow, this card's like, last, I, I think this card is somewhere around $100. That is amazing. What a pull out of this ETB. Oh my goodness. That needs to be sleeved up immediately. No waiting. Can't wait for that. Just leave that. Don't barely touch it. Don't bend it. Just barely touch. Just go in there, card. Go in there so I don't ruin you. That is amazing. Wow. 
that that just that basically paid for the whole box. That paid for that paid for this entire opening. <laughs> Pretty much, I think. Wow. All right, cool. Let's just let's put him up there so we don't forget about him. He's he's going to be our mascot for this opening. He's, don't forget about me, guys. Don't forget about Mr. Lugia. Okay, let's see here. We'll guess metal energy. Nope. Darkness this time. Waylord. Pharisee. Chinchu. Pikachu. Whoop, get out of there. Ponyta. Venonat. A reverse Brakeson. And a Miss Magius. All right, here we go. Schmeargle. Um, hmm. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Water energy. Oh, Altaria, Lance, Fletchinder, Smeargle, Dratini, Chincho, Dewpider, a Reverse Spinneret, and an Armaldo. Non-hollow rare. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we get here. What else? What else can we find? What other fun things can we get? Oh, no energy to guess this time. It's a V-Star marker. Oh, I was right, guys. It's a V-Star marker. Patty. Yeah. All right, Dedenne. Quadstone. Morpeko. Ponyta. Venonat. Dupider. Spinda. Phoebus. A Reverse Melodic. And a Cobalion. Non hollow rare. Justified law. Your basic Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active darkness Pokemon. Well, that's not that great because, I mean, there aren't many darkness. I mean, there are, but there's aren't really any decks built around darkness. You'll find a turbo dark occasionally with Dark Rye, but not too often. All right, last pack of magic in the Silver Tempest ETB. Um, let's go. Come on, give me a, uh, God, what else do I want now? Now that I got that Lugia, what else, what else do I need? Um, give me a Reggie Drago. Let's do that. Just give me a Reggie Drago. Yeah, let's give, let's give me that. Let's go Metal Energy. Oh, I didn't get any energy right. V-Guard Energy. Toracat. Dragonair. Togedemaru. Esper. A Smeargle. Litten. Petalil, a Reverse Sandile, and just a Talon Flame non-hollow rare out of the Silver Tempest ETB. So actually, you know, I didn't actually get much in this ETB, but this card makes up for everything. So I guess I can't complain because I got this card. I, I guess I shouldn't complain. I mean, I still can. That's my, that's my go-to thing. Complaining is, that's my move. Okay, that's my thing. But but I shouldn't complain. Well, look at that. That is awesome. Lugia with a fisherman looking on. That is awesome. Alright, so that's out of that's it for the ETBs. Now I think let's open up this mystery box. There's probably nothing good in here, but eh, who knows? We'll see what it finds. All right, here we are back with this mystery box. Now, each one of these boxes is supposed to have three booster packs and one online code card. You're supposed to look. There should be chase packs in some of these. Chase packs are seated one in ten boxes. I only bought one box because, you know, I don't have hundreds of dollars to throw around. I just have a little bit of money to throw around. Not as much as I obviously want to. Well, let's see. Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, Brilliant Stars, maybe, who knows? Fusion Strike, <laughs> probably in there, yeah. Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Undaunted, definitely not. <laughs> so let's just open this up. All right, I thank you all for watching the video. Um, give me a like uh, down below, comment. 
let me know if you want to see something some other stuff and we can uh, try and figure that out let's see what we got in here we've got oh another silver tempest pack and we've got oh a lost origin pack cool a astral radiance and oh no mystery bonus packs very very sad but you know like i said that was to be expected though these are mostly well they're not all scams but a lot of them are so get out of here box let's do this all right here we go let's see let's since we just finished silver tempest let's open another one let's open this up first all right if i can get it open here boy i tell you some of these packs some of these things, I tell you what. Okay. Let's guess fire. Nope. Big loser on that one. Ferrothorn. Leafy Camo Poncho. Palisand. Ponyta. A Venonat. Ralts. Spinda. Pikachu. A Reverse Dreepy. And a Non Hollow Incineroar. Boy, he is, uh, he is just out cold, sleeping away. Wake up, you lazy bum. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's see. Haven't opened one of these in a little while, so let's... Uh, well, heck, let's just go with that Lost Origin. We'll see. Maybe we can find a Giratina. Maybe we can find the uh, secret art of Giratina, like I found the secret art Lugia. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, it's a white card. Not going to happen. <laughs> Let's do Psychic Energy. Nope. Not having luck with the energy tonight. Nuzleaf, Wind-Up Arm, Hariyama, a Litwick, an, another Litwick. I, I, I swear there better not be four more Litwicks in this pack. Did you all see that video <laughs> where the guy, one guy pulled like six Weedles in one pack? <laughs> Okay, good. Good. It's not going to happen to me this time, okay? Okay. Bronzor. Lit. Uh, this one started with lit. I, I was going to be so angry. Lit, lit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> C dot. A reverse pseudo And a honchcrow. Well, let's go to Astral Radiance see what uh, let's see what's this one has the um di uh, the dialogas and the uh, palkias in it so let's see if we can find those huh. oh it's a white card not good oh it's a v-star marker i'm gonna i'm gonna guess it's a v-star marker oh i was right hey switch cart cartoon wait and see turbo i haven't seen that card actually mantine quillfish hisuian basculin Puchiana, Glamiao, a Reverse Quilava, and a Mighty Anna. Non-Hollow Rare. So, that mystery box had a whole lot of nothing in it. Didn't have any bonus packs. Didn't have any mystery chase packs. And even when I opened them, didn't hit a thing. But, you know, that happens sometimes. But... You know, to summarize this video, let's take a look and see what we had here. We got some cool things from that. We got these. The big winner, obviously, is the Lugia V. And we got the Sharon's Care. The Luminian V. I like this card. This card is real pretty. Real nice design on it. Simi Seer, Regigigas, and the Lugia. And, of course, we got the Skuntank V, Radiant Jirachi. This is probably the good one, good uh, thing out of these Galarian or Trainer Galleries. The Pikachu and the Magmortar is really cool, actually. Maybe I'll have to look for this in Japanese. Because I swear, it, this just has to look so much better with Silver Borders in Japanese than the English version does with these awful yellow borders. So, I'll have, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll consider looking at getting that. Well... 
that is the end of this video. Like I said, thanks for watching. Give me a like, uh, comment down below, see, tell me if you want to see something. Um, let me know if anybody's going to uh, Worlds. Wouldn't that be really cool? Go to Worlds here in about a month in Japan. World Championships. I have no points because I didn't play this season basically at all. Um, other than just some locals, uh, local things going on. But uh, So let me know if you're playing anything. Lugia would have... Lugia would probably be my choice because I'm just... I don't have as good of experience, so I'd probably just play that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.